you walked outside your house and saw thousands of people running in one direction, how would you react? Would you run blindly behind the herd not knowing whether you're following the right or wrong path? Be honest. You know yourself best. Would you follow them and quickly repeat their acts not knowing in what direction you're moving, who you're following, or what tracks? Answer this and you'll know where you truly would have stood in Karbala if you were sent back. We all know how hard it is to resist peer pressure. Some of us follow the crowd whether it makes us good doers or transgressors. Some of us change our stances like the changing of the weather. You know how the old saying goes, birds of the same feather flock together. So does it make sense now how thousands pledged allegiance to Hussein and betrayed him to his oppressors? oppressors? For Yazid and his team, men of luxury, brutality and greed, knew just what to do to bring the Kufans to their knees. They knew how society works, that one following another becomes a domino effect that can't be stopped, and that each person has something that makes them tick, like a clock, and like clockwork, and precision. Ibn Ziyad had things decided, to make the Kufans divided, and all it took was a few gold coins in fear of losing their blood, and they deserted Hussein, one by one. But among society, there are those who do not follow the crowd, who follow what is just and sound, like those whose blood and sand was their burial shroud. And ask yourself who their followers are in this generation, now, now, like those sanctioned, attacked, and slandered for the sake of following the truth. Does anyone in our time Embody this for you. Body this for you. They call them terrorist groups, ayatollahs, dangerous, simply because they don't submit to the orders of occupation. Against them, they fabricate false claims after false claims, simply because they thwart imperialist aims. These Yazids of today, who supposedly call for peace, and when it comes, they revoke the JCPOA, the oppressor that bombs and invades supports the Zionist and Saudi terrorists which create modern Karbala's every day. And just like when Yazid claimed they were disbelievers, fitna makers astray, and so many ignorant people he would persuade to abandon the path of Hussein, the same way today the enemies of truth tried to take us away, slander and defame the path of the one descended from Khumein. The path of the one from Khurasan, the path of the one from Sistan, and every scholar who teaches us revolutionary and true Islam, that teaches love and peace, but a fierce stance against oppression and its instigators, to disobey them and obey only our Creator. No matter how many ignorant and deviated people from the truth become traitors, there are those who follow proof and not fake news, for the path of Hussein is to follow what is true. And they would die for this path and fight till their last breath. When the later Imams were asked why the Caliphs of their time they didn't rise against, when the number of Shi'as was greater than the time of Hussein in every sense, and they swore things would be different and they would not betray or abandon, they responded, no one can be compared to Abu Abdullah's companions. Companion. We must recognize that to be with Imam al-Mahdi, we must stand against the Yazids of 2020 and not lose our souls for fear for our lives, bribes, or money. Let us learn from the people of Kufa's mistake. Let it not be fake this year when we say, Labayk! 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 الله اکبر و صاحب من حضرت بقیت الله ارواح نافدا